Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So here we have a matrix space XD. A is subset of X. And they have defined this function DA from X to R, which is nothing but distance of any point from set A. We have to prove that it is continuous on matrix space XD. Okay. So uh, let me mention here what we have to prove exactly. To prove that DA is continuous on x. So this function is continuous on x. It means we have to prove that it is continuous at each and every point of x. So let us take any arbitrary point of x and we will prove that it is continuous at that point. So let us take one point. Let x0 belongs to capital X be any arbitrary point of x. So therefore, uh, to prove that DA is continuous at X0. So now our target is simple. See, we have chosen one point of matrix space X and we have to prove that that DA is continuous at point X0. Getting? So uh, let me show here what is meaning of that function. So such matrix space XD we have, right? And they have given one subset of X. So let me call it as A. Uh, see, they have mentioned actually. So this is subset of X. So A is a subset of X. And if you take any point of this matrix space, so the distance of that point from the set A, that is nothing but D of X. D of X means what? Distance of point X from set A. So that distance is nothing but value of D of X. Getting? So if you take any point from the set, that means from set A, then its distance from set A is obviously zero. So such function we have, and we have to prove that it is continuous at each and every point of matrix space XD. So what we have done, we have chosen one arbitrary point X0, and now our target is to prove it is continuous at point X0. So here we are going to use epsilon delta definition of continuity getting to prove this thing. Uh, but see, before that, it is so much important to prove one inequality. So let us work on that inequality and then we will go for the actual proof. We will go for the actual proof of we using epsilon delta definition, right? Uh, so let me mention here for C4. See what I'm going to do. I'm taking one point X belongs to matrix space XD. Uh, just like you can see here, X is any point of matrix space XD and small a belongs to capital A. So A is any point. So a X is, see, A is any point of this set A. X is any point of matrix space XT and A is any point of set A. Getting? So by then, by triangle inequality. Getting? So at the beginning of this uh, matrix space, we have already studied the definition of matrix space. So matrix space is basically a function which satisfies four conditions. So the last condition is uh, that triangle inequality. So using that triangle inequality, I can write here. See for triangle inequality, we need to have three points. So X naught, we have first point. X is the second point and A is the third point. So let us apply triangle inequality. So D of X A is less than or equal to D of X X naught plus D of x not a so by triangle inequality we will have this one so let us take infimum so taking infimum on both of infimum of both sides for a belongs to capital a okay so let us take infimum so i can write infimum of a belongs to capital a d of x a getting less than or equal to say here small a is not there. So no need to take infimum here. Let us write as it is here. We need to take infimum. So infimum of a belongs to capital A D of X naught a. So let us try to understand what is meaning of it. So a is any point of capital A, right? So here we are choosing infimum distance. So see, as you can see here, so this is the distance of distance between X and A. 
But see, A is any point. So infimum distance, that means A should be here, then its distance will be minimum or infimum. So that is nothing but definition of distance uh, between X and Z capital A. Okay. Uh, let me write here. So this is nothing but, this is nothing but definition of distance between X uh, and Z capital A, right? So this thing will be as it is, this is less than or equal to D of X, X naught, right? And infimum of, uh, so this is again a definition of distance of any point from the set. So this is nothing but distance between X naught and set capital A. So after that, what will I do? I'm going to shift D of X naught A on this side. So D of X A, there will be minus sign D of X naught A less than or equal to D of x x naught okay so let me call it as one see uh, now i'm going to interchange x and x naught see interchanging interchanging x and x naught see we get we get so that means from the beginning also you can make changes at a place of x i'm going to write x naught and at a place of x naught i'm going to write x so we will have the same inequality, just we will have here x naught first and here we will have x, right? And less than or equal to here at a place of x, we will have x naught and at a place of x naught, we will have x. Okay, so we will have this inequality. Uh, let me take minus sign common. So if you take minus sign outside, it will be plus. So that's why I'm writing it first and it will have minus sign. So that's why I'm writing it second. Okay, that's it. This is less than or equal to right hand side. We will have same, but see distance between X naught and X is same as distance between X and X naught. So D of X, uh, X naught X is same as D of X, X naught. So let me call it as two getting. So here we have inequality one and inequality two. So let us combine both inequalities. See, I'm going to write it, but we don't have much space to write. So make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So tell me, did you notice one thing? In one and two, we have a same right hand side. Okay. And when you talk about left hand side, we have a same just signs are opposite here. We have this same two terms we have here, just we have a minus sign. So we can write here from one and two, one and two. See if you have plus or if you have minus D of X a minus D of X naught a less than or equal to d of x x naught getting so from this two i got this one see plus minus that means you can replace it by mod so mod d x a minus d x d of x naught a less than or equal to d of x x naught so this is so much important inequality we proved so let me call it as star it is so much important for us so let us come back to our main point our target is to prove DA is continuous. We have already chosen one point X naught. And as I told you earlier, using epsilon delta definition, we are going to prove. So let us take one epsilon. So let us take epsilon. Let uh, epsilon greater than zero be given. So I've chosen one epsilon. And for this epsilon, we have to find one delta. So let, let delta is equal to, but see right now I'm not getting what should be my delta. So I'm keeping it blank. We will go further. After writing few steps, we will realize, yes, this should be our delta. And that time we will uh, select our delta. Okay, so let us go further. Uh, I'm going to prove dA is continuous at X naught using epsilon delta definition. So I will go with the definition. Consider uh, what we write first. So domain, so domain is X, getting? Domain is X, so D of x x naught less than delta implies we have to prove see here r we have r codomain is r so here we have mod what is our function d a is our function d a of x first point minus d a of x naught and we have to prove that it is less than epsilon this thing we have to prove right now we have, haven't proved okay so we have to prove it is less than epsilon then by epsilon delta definition we can say dA is continuous at x naught. So let us simplify it further. dA of x. Definition says it's 
value is dx a and dA of x naught. So definition says again, this is nothing but dA x naught. So dx naught a, right? Uh, see dx a minus dx naught a, we have seen it somewhere, no? Yes, in star, we have already proved it is less than dx x naught. So this is less than or equal to dx x naught, right? But see dx x naught is less than delta, right? Actually, our target is to prove it is less than epsilon and we got it is less than delta. So my choice of delta must be epsilon. Getting so delta is epsilon I'm choosing. So I got delta is equal to epsilon, okay? So let us write now. So therefore, therefore d x x naught less than delta. We started with it. And finally, what we got implies d a x minus d a x naught that is less than right we got epsilon for x belongs to capital x x is any uh, point from capital x which will satisfy this condition getting so therefore this is a definition of this is epsilon delta definition of continuous function so i can read so therefore d a is continuous at x naught but x naught belongs to capital x is any arbitrary point it's an arbitrary point getting arbitrary point of x naught sorry capital x so therefore we can say d is continuous at each and every point of capital x so that that's why in a simple way we can say so therefore d a is continuous on x so in this way we proved that function d a is continuous on a matrix space xd so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you